Putin honors war criminals. The president of Russia has given the honorary title God to the 11 regiments and brigades since the beginning of the full-scale invasion of Ukraine. The corresponding decrees are published on the official portal of Russian legal information. At the same time, the awarded formation are accused of shelling residential areas, murders, violence and robberies in Ukraine. In particular, the 15th Separate Motorized Rifle Brigade terrorized civilians in the Chernihiv region during the occupation, which became a guard brigade on the 9th of May, and the 64th Motorized Rifle Brigade was involved in the massacre in Bucha. The Russian soldiers of the newly minted Guards formation began to massively refuse to participate in the war after having suffered significant losses. The personnel of the Russian unit is massively opposed to returning to Ukraine, realizing the resonance of the events in Bucha and the responsibility for the crimes which were committed. However, the Russian command ignores these sentiments and threatens a court-martial in case of refusal to continue participating in hostilities. From the message of the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine. The authorities began to involve prisoners in the war in order to restore the noticeably thinning ranks of the Russian army. Convicted criminals go to war in Ukraine in the hope of early release. As for prisoners, this is a significant number of people in Russia. In total, there are being held more than 400,000 prisoners, and apparently the authorities also decided to use this resource. It is known that representatives of private military company Wagner and the head of this company Evgeny Prigozhin were in some correctional institutions in various regions of Russia where they carried out the selection and recruitment of prisoners. On the era of Ukrainian telethon freedom, Russian human rights activist Vladimir Osechkin confirmed that there was sending of criminals who were convicted under serious articles to the front line. He emphasized that those people are particularly cruel. Kapos, convicts activists who cooperated very closely with the Federal Security Service of the Russian Federation and the Federal Penitentiary Service in torturing Russians in the so-called sweet boxes. They have been transferred to the occupied territories so that they applied all these atrocities to prisoners of war and captives, and also to those who refused to participate. Konstantin Tulinov used to be one of these recruits. He was killed in the war against Ukraine. The Russian propaganda media called him a hero and devoted an entire program to him. However, that wasn't the first time for Tulinov, who was nicknamed Redhead, to feature in the media. A few years earlier, he was mentioned in connection with a systematic torture in a Russian pretrial detention center. Prisoners, activists who are even equipped with identification marks and t-shirts with the inscription UFSIN, EDIN active, brutally torture and beat prisoners, beat them out and force them to write confessions, self-incrimination and slander of third parties, and also extort money in the amount of more than 50,000 rubles. There are from 2 to 8 people transferred to the sweet boxes for handling correction per week. According to Fontanka, a young man Konstantin Tulinov who had a tattoo with a cross and was nicknamed Red Hat, played one of the main roles in this asset. He was 23 years old and he used to appear occasionally at large. From the publication of Fontanka.ru. Gulago.net covered the story about Tulino in great detail. So he was serving a sentence in the Leningrad region and was the so called capo developer. That means that he beat, tortured, humiliated other prisoners under the control of the administration and at the direction of the administration of this institution. Mikhalkov and Ross Propaganda discredited themselves when they used that kind of person as an alleged hero. According to the Russian human rights activists, more than a thousand prisoners have been already recruited from the correctional institutions in Russia and have been sent to the hottest spots with little or no training at all. Reported by Diana Kolesnik, Olena Mikhailovska, UATV News.